Hello there, Internet version 2 here with why wow, that is not the thing that you expect to see. That's the one that you expect to see. Hello there, Internet version 2 here with Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Recoded. One of the other Kingdom Hearts games that I'll, that like is almost unanimously people telling me not to play. I had a lot of people telling me just watch the movie for fuck's sakes, just watch the movie and all that stuff. But hey, a lot of the people that were telling me that Birth by Sleep was um shit were also the people saying that Recoded was better and worthwhile playing. And all the people who were wrong about Birth by Sleep were telling me I should watch the movie. So we're gonna play the game because I'm playing all of these for fuck's sakes. If I'm going to go through and I'm gonna play all of like if I'm gonna play everything up to this point why wouldn't I play this I bought this back when I bought days and I bought days and recoded before I started Kingdom Hearts 2 it was during recon when I was like oh, I think this game's awesome but I figured I'd get those while I could because I know they might be difficult to find so point is this is um what the sixth this is the sixth Kingdom Hearts game that we're doing holy shit that's so many games so, yeah, another one on the DS, like Days, which I love Days. Do, oh, do I, I love aspects of Days, and the rest of Days is alright. How about we put it like that? So, we're going into this, we're not gonna let um, Birth by Sleep cloud our ju um, my judgement of me just being angry at Kingdom Hearts at the moment, because, well, I mean, we watched the Days movie, and that got me back into a good mood, and also between watching the Days movie and this, I also just decided to go and watch the good parts, of my LP of Kingdom Hearts 2 and Chain of Memories to remember, right, Kingdom Hearts has good moments as well as awful, terrible moments. So once again, going into this with no impressions, people have said that this game is not worth playing whatsoever. People said that about Chain of Memories in days. Um, people have said that the gameplay in this is pretty good. People said that about Birth by Sleep. So, all preconceived... Oh, let's not watch that. Goodbye. It's usually... It's usually it's usually spoilers or at the beginning of the game. So, don't say goodbye just yet. We'll, we'll, if it's super necessary, people can let me know and I'll play it at some point in between. But it's usually either straight up spoilers or it's at the goodbye. very beginning. It's at the very beginning, so it's fine. No, not goodbye. Oh, it's Domine. When I wake up, I'll find you. And then there will be no lies. We're gonna be friends for real. Promise me, Nominee. Pinky promise, yeah. Oh, hey. It's that song that gives me an excuse to use that song that I like using. This is going from every game I've seen before. A lot of one in here, but... I did see moments from other games in that part there. This part's all one. Yeah, this is all... And hey, look, it's the good part of one. <laughs> the real good part of one. The fucking amazing part of one. Which I'm so happy that the one, like, the main part of Kingdom Hearts 1 that I actually like and think is done really well is, like, the one part that actually matters for the rest of the series. Oh, yeah, it was this giant spaceship. That was a weird fight. And Riku and Mickey, like, finishing their character arts. For, the, for that game. And Castle Oblivion! Fuck yeah, Castle Oblivion. There's a lot of Matrix data shit going on right now. I mean, the game is called Recoded. You know, I guess that makes sense. Oh. New clothes, new shiny everything. Man, I forgot how good they could actually make the graphics on the original DS when they actually gave a shit. I mean, I know it's all pre-rendered and everything, so it's kind of cheating, but still, it's like a 240p screen and it still looks decent. Oh, hey, look! Did they just show... Oh, I was about to say, was that the Roxas fight? But it may not have been the Roxas fight if we're here. Because the Roxas fight is exclusive to Final Mix, apparently, which is fucking insane, considering how important that fight is in the story, but hey. And that giant machine that flies up, everyone being reunited. Hearts going everywhere. Yeah! And the awesome end of the game. And them ending up in the realm of darkness. And then swimming into the light and coming back. Them falling from the sky. It's been a long time since I've played Kingdom Hearts 2. Was there a reason that Sora and 
three two were able to leave the realm of darkness at the end of that game. Because they defeat Xemnas and they walk out and then they manage they end up there and they're sitting there, and then there's a light and then they manage to come back. <laughs> I'll get flashes on my right there. So wait, why is that the bit of dialogue that's important? Like what's so important about Namine like So about now we've taken two journeys. One to stop the darkness from spreading. And the other to put all the lost hearts back where they belong. What's so important about that one scene for this game? To tell the truth, neither one was easy. But I sure was glad to be the cricket to write <laughs> down what happened. Oh, yeah, you, you, two journeys. Journeys. Yeah. Both sitting quiet, right here in these two books. Yeah, fuck those but other now, three games. Looks like the only thing left in one of them is a single line. Thanks. Of course. Oh, thank Maybe nominate. that's because they're the only words this book was meant to hold. And it's time to close it for good. Also, oh, is that who exactly is this? Is this chain of memories that he's referring to? Their hurting will be mended when you return to end it. Is this game about regaining Sora's memories that he lost in Castle Oblivion? Because if that's the case, I'm really excited for this. A mysterious message. Uh huh. I certainly didn't write it. And you know, I never once let the journal out of my sight. I don't know when anybody would have had a chance to. Hmm. Their hurting will be mended. Gosh, Jiminy. Sounds like somebody needs help and doesn't know what to do. Are we returning Let's to Castle? Let's get to the of bottom of this. Of course, but how? I mean, at this point, we know that that's oh, where Roxas is. Roxas blank. is somewhere in the other chamber sure, in the castle. The words um, you wrote the are gone, Olivia. but that doesn't mean the journal is empty. What's up, hey? <laughs> so this is just after everything's peaceful. Your Majesty, like Kingdom Hearts 2 ended and everything's peaceful and they're just going about their like day to day, like keeping up keeping an eye on everything. Whoa! Okay, that should not have come out of something so small, but it's Disney, who cares? It's a very Disney front loaded game, which is weird for one of those. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Oh, what the heck? What the? What is this Disney Universe hey, bullshit? What's going what? On? Jiminy's journal. I think it's gone completely nuts. That get it? That's weird. Yeah. That's not what I mean. You made the joke I off don't right. I know it. what's causing it exactly, okay, but there's something wrong with the worlds inside the journal, and we can't analyze that message for you either. Well, yeah, because they've been memory hmm. fucked by Nomino. Isn't there something else we can try? Gorsh! Maybe if we could get in there somehow and fix the data, we could figure out what's wrong. Hey, that's it! You mean like we the? We could look for somebody already in the journal and ask them to explore the world and repair the data. You mean like it's the Tron computer in Kingdom Hearts Two for the somebody mainframe to database? The data from the inside. Jeez, who would that be? And I think we know just the guy to do it. Am I right, fellas? Sora! So up there again. Is this his... Oh, is it... Wait, is this his first or second game clothes? No, it's got black on his shirt. That might be... No, but he's got the yellow boots. This is the first one. This is his first game Sora, I think. Yeah, he looks a lot younger. Kinda. Sorta. <laughs> Once again on the painting. Snow White this time! Has it been Snow White for the first time, the other times? I don't know. I still don't get these... Painting, these stained glass painting things. I'm still not certain what it is. Okay, yeah, in-game graphics look basically the same as days. Can you hear me now? Step forward. Can you do it? Uh, yep. Oh, what? Well, wait. Oh, that centers the camera behind me, and then I can look around like that. Oh, okay. All right, we run arounds, run arounds. It is um, sticking to eight diagonal directions. Like, I'm using a circuit pad, obviously. It's still sticking to the eight cardinal directions, but it will work. It'll work for the time being. Fuck yeah. Station of Awakening. Yeah, so, so I'm not sure what these things are. Power sleeps within you. Oh, hey, we get to choose this shit again. It's been a while since I've done that, I feel. Did you do this in two? Did you choose... 
which one to have in two? I forget. I don't know. I'm gonna go with the sword, obviously. We learned in days that sword is the canon one for Sora. Because when you get the dream weapons, like, in for one of those gears, like, goofy... No, 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 no. Can't, um, a shield to repel item? No. Yeah, we learned that, like, that's the canon one for, uh, Donald and Goofy, those two. And then this is the canon one for Sora, because of the dream weapons and shit. So, hey. The power of the warrior, invincible courage, a sword of d terrible destruction. Yes, this is the power, I think. Did you do this in Kingdom Hearts 2? I don't even remember. What will you give up in exchange? Um... See, so this I don't recall what I did before. I want to say I gave up this in Kingdom Hearts 1 because it was like... Shitty magic shitty. So I'm gonna do that. The power of the mystic inner strength, staff of wonder and ruin. I'm gonna give up that. I'm just doing that because I feel like that's what I did in Kingdom Hearts 1. Give me up the power of the mystic. I completely forgot that this was even a thing in Kingdom Hearts. But the idea of choosing it is just like, it seems to have so little impact on the game itself. It's just like, why does it, why is it even a thing? Like, I, I feel like it's so not impactful that I don't know why they bother with it. Oh, okay, visual novel saw cutscenes. We're in business, that takes care of rewriting Sora. Rewriting? We've rigged it so he can use the Keyblade already. And now he can help us unglitch the journal data. Oh, what? Could could something be gumming up the system? We'll hop next door and have a look. <laughs> they just run away. What's going on? Chip and Dale figured the problem out. What are we doing? Somebody wrote a strange message in Jiminy's journal. And the only way to find out who it is is by analyzing the book. What does it say? Their heading will be mended when you... No! That can't be right. Pretty sure that's what it said, Jiminy. What? I thought Sora said he was alone in that dream. That's what I wrote in the journal, so how come that's not what we're seeing? What? Oh, hey! Is it Roxas? Bye. Listen, can you hear me? You have to go after him. Yeah, let's go for it. Come back here! No, come back here! Come back here, I'm guessing, Roxas. Come here. Huh? I didn't expect visual oh. visual novel style cutscenes. Watch out, Heartless! Use your powers. My what? Keyblade! <laughs> Keyblade! Alright, you've gained the power to fight, attack, um, and, and this is your power to survive. The green gauge in the lower right represents HP or health. If it runs out, it's game over. Keep your light burning strong. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Uh, defeating enemies causing the prizes and stuff, and you can pick that up. Alright, you've got it. Uh, lock on. Uh, lock on. That is... Why hold and then buttons to change targets? I'm assuming I can change that later on. But I seem to recall. And once again, the hand, this handheld one gives you the name of the enemies when you fight them, unlike the other. I don't get why, like, Chain of Memories, um, Birth by Sleep, it's 1 and 2. I don't get why they don't give you the names of the enemies when you're fighting, but this and Days do. Careful, you're surrounded. Uh, the blue box is above the attack command, are called Deck Commands. Press X to use command in the middle of, um, middle box. You must wait. Seriously? Is this seriously the same as Birth by Sleep? Yeah. Oh my god, it's the same as Birth by Sleep! What? Um, attack enemies or certain objects to fill up the clock gauge. Each time you do, you will rise a clock level, activating an ability on the clock ability tree and moving up to the next tier. After you've reached one of the endpoints on the tree, filling the clock gauge one last time will change the attack command to finish. Press A to unleash a devastating attack. So it's that instead of command styles. After which clock level return to one, your abilities for clock levels two through max will deactivate. So, bam, bam. So now we get a magic upgrade. So where's the clock level? Oh, it's, it's next to me. It's next to my name. Oh, I don't know. I, I, 
I don't have roll yet, but I do have this. Yeah, attack upgrade. So once we max out this gauge, and now we get blade rush. So we, I'm just gonna kill that a bit. So blade rush. Bam. Okay. Ah, uh, I'm kind of annoyed that the gained a level up chip. Uh, you receive experience for defeating enemies. Earn enough experience and you receive a level up chip. Install level up chips in the main menu. Stat matrix to increase your level. Is this game going to be a combination of days and birth by sleep systems? Uh, press start when enemies are around to open up a menu we can power up yourself or change your weapon or commands. Uh, try it now. Open up the thing and install it. Uh, stat matrix? No? Okay, install chips in the slots on the board to gain new powers. All chips powered by CPUs. Install your first chip next to the CPU, then build outwards to complete the stat matrix. Uh, start by pointing to an empty adjacent slot and pressing A to select the chip. Okay. Difficulty G. Uh, you can change the game's difficulty anytime you want with this gadget. Beginning is easy, as critical as hard as it. You can change it mid game for this. So we're on standard, uh, everything's one, beginner, it's all the same on one. Proud. Oh, there's... How do I... I? Like, there's a scroll menu up the top, but I can't scroll it down. Oh, that's out. Okay, so proud's all the same as well, okay. Well, I'm gonna go for standard. Um, Commands matrix, every action you take is represented by command, use this board to install these commands in combat. Oh, there's a lot to it. Okay, uh, gear matrix, this is a combination of all the others and it's a bit confusing for me. Okay. There's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on here, okay. Uh, full map. Oh, whoops. Did I not? I'll oh, select this full map. Oh, wow, this thing is fucking huge. Oh my goodness, this thing is fucking huge. Okay. So go to this. Um, nothing I can do there, just all that. Uh, so that's what I currently have in there. I can swap commands here as well. Abilities I have there. I've got difficulty cheats, which is a weird name for it. Uh, and then, okay. So raise your keyblade level to unlock, unlock that. So do you choose which one to go up or like does doing certain things go to different ones? Um, okay, so we've got that. Okay, we'll sort, sort back to this screen. So, uh, so CPU supplies power to chips in the matrix. Okay. And we can put up. So we pop a level up chip there. Learn dodge roll. Bonus boosts. Use chips to fill slots in between these pink objects and a CPU to unlock useful support abilities. So I can change that. So. So that's what, level up ticks. Ah, oh, that's everything there. So that's different gears. Okay. There's a lot going on, just give me a second to process this. So I can turn it on and off like that, okay. So it allows you to roll forward, yeah, pressing Y. At least they give you the dodge roll super quick in this. Um, and then that we can, at some point we can, We'll pop, we can pop something in there, and then that just continues there. Okay. I'm assuming I'll get that a bit more once we start leveling up everything. And gear matrix. Accessory chips. I don't have any of those. Oh, we can choose our finish command chip. Oh, okay. Awesome. And then we've got the kingdom key. And then we've got that. Okay. And command matrix is just... I can press this to change between those. Why am I doing that? Okay, so, but this is what, so like, memory used 8%, memory used 11%. Oh, so we've got a memory gauge down the bottom of how much we can fill up shit as well. Okay. Okay. Debug reports. Okay. There's a lot going on. Um, how do I, can I change my camera? Anyway. Just curious as to... I press R to immediately point the camera in the direction facing. 
Quickly press and release to point the camera direction you're facing. The camera will not adjust itself when you move. The camera will stay behind you when you move. I'm gonna go for that for the time being. Camera, make it easier to climb. Controls, type A, deck flow. Um, so, uh, L plus X or B. So, X and B. Good job. A top and bottom. I guess it's up and down. Is how you go to between commands. After using command, deck will automatically cycle to the next move. Uh, deck will automatically cycle to the next non-recovery um, command in the list. Uh, we'll keep that until you go. Go. Just go for next command for the time being. L plus up and down is cycle through deck. Um. No, I'm gonna. I'll, I'll keep. Uh, L plus that is your command. I'm gonna go for up and down, so I can still move around, and then I can L my buttons to do that. Auto jump on! Wow, okay. I'm shocked that's even a thing. Uh, attack and cause you face your target on strike when um, there whenever possible. Yeah, that's what I want. Uh, touch screen will display ability tree only temporarily whenever your clock level increases. We'll never show the clock ability unless you toggle it. Um, as soon as combat breaks out, touch screen will switch from map to clock ability tree. Um. We go to overclock. Shortcut behavior. Pressing the shortcut button instantly uses your shortcut command. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's a thing? But, like, in other games, shortcut is just go to it. Like, when you have, like, in Chain of Memories, it was go to it. In Birth by Sleep, it was go to it. Like, in the games where you have, like, multiple options to select through and that. Holy shit, wow. Uh, 3D shooting. And 3D shooting stages? What? That can wait. Okay. And there's no lock on change, which is a bit strange, but hey. Alright. So now the camera should follow me when I run. Oh, that's definitely what I want, yeah. Okay, we'll go for that then. Uh, so save point. Okay. Go to a save point and save your data. There's. Okay, what's that strange door? Oh, hey, it's, it's the door. It's not just a door, it's the door. Alright, I can only save two slots. Really? You have two save data slots in this game. You have three in days, what the hell? Alright, so... Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, so when you press, it, it tells you L to go to that, and then it tells you which one goes there. Oh, and pressing L on its own will go through it as well. Oh, okay. So, like, if you want to go through it quickly, you can just do that. Yeah. And then, yeah, so if I press L and A, it just immediately goes to that and uses it if I have it. Okay, that's actually really good. I like the shortcut idea of it immediately going. Open the door, hold out the keyblade. Magic swirly spirals, go for it. Yeah. <coughs> so this game's a... This... Uh, okay. <laughs> just ignore those red blocks, but it's on Destiny Islands, yeah. So this game has, like, a combination of the other game got its own unique things, like a combination of other things. How did I get back home? Sora! That voice again, who's talking to me? Sora, are you okay? Buster Wolf! How do you know my name, Emily, man? Gee, well, sort of. I'm Mickey. Let's just say I know you, Sora, and Sora knows me. We're good friends. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Really? Does it? Does it? No, that doesn't. <laughs> I'm from another world, and god, it's... yeah. Yeah. It's this mystery me and my friends are trying to solve, but we can't get to your world, so we're hoping you'd lend a hand. What I gotta do? Kill a lot of things. Take a look around, we're counting on. Okay, but fill me in about what's going on. You have to admit, it's pretty weird. How about I explore the island if you steer me along? I'll give you the details as we go. So, first thing we're looking for are glitches, anything that's out of the ordinary. That, yeah, those things. So, like, this is a data Sora in this that's like um like it's like it's him up until the events of like Kingdom Hearts 1 happen and they get on the island that's part of our mystery I'll try asking around and remember Sora we might be worlds apart but just say the word and I'll do my best to guide you so you're not playing as the real Sora you're playing as a fake avatar Sora a touch screen to the map that shows your position. Press select to zoom the map and camera out when you're moving through dense areas. Oh, wow, that is... Okay, so what? 
That is a dense area. Okay, can I move it around? No, I can't. But touchscreen does move around the camera there. Okay. Alrighty. Well, in that case, let's go. I'm missing a second analog stick where I can just turn the camera around super easy. Alright, wait. That that auto jump is gonna get me. Probably be helpful, but it's gonna be confusing. Like going wee. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Okay. Where have you been? Hey, selfie. But first, let me know. If you look at the arm, we're up to our ears in blocks. Oh, a little bit above our ears. They keep popping up out of thin air. Oh, that's weird. As if Ty doesn't walk around six blocks under already. Jesus, that's dark. But they go. Down to the beach to investigate. Alright, let's go investigate the beach. Can I beat the shit out of these blocks and just kill them? Bugs in the general data, of course, blocks. To a Clever. Because it's like, just like, the blocks, dogs, I don't know. Uh, you can break them with the keyblade to reveal prizes or use them as stepping stones. You're making me choose between the options? But the idea is like, all stepping stones, like, sometimes it might be good things to keep them around. Okay. Uh, hey, some prizes. Hey! Love lots of medic. So, does my overclock level slowly decrease as time goes on? Can't go on the water, but there is an island over there. Like, wait, what? Did... Did I... Oh, I thought I saw something appear. Never mind. Okay. I thought I saw something appear weird on there. Hey, Waka. Things are getting narrow here. Yeah, you okay, brother? Yeah, where did blocks come from, Waka? They kind of showed up. They're everywhere, except... Hey, it's a different one. It's a special one. Yeah, wait here. Let's go look at the thing. Isn't Waka on the island? Oh no, he's right in front of me. Must be the other one on the island. Titus. Keep holding that as your virtual edge and you'll automatically jump across it depending on the context. That's context. The context. Oh, hey, look. The, okay. It's the stepping stones. I see what you mean now. Okay. So this is why. Yeah, okay. Boom! Big shinies. HP plus two. Blocks marked with a star are called prize blocks. Smash these to reveal treasures. Grey metal blocks cannot be destroyed. Well then, we're fucked. Blocks marked silver stars for name and valuable items. Takes three hits to break them. Report back to it. Waka waka. So, hang on. Actually, before I talk to you, let's beat the shit out of some blocks. Yeah. Take that, blocks. Take that, more blocks. Okay, they do fall. Uh, they'll fall with gravity if they're already being affected by it, like if they're on something else. Grey ones don't give a shit. Silver ones. Whatever the colour of the dark ones. There's something hiding inside. Maybe I should try it out. Was this another thing to put into my matrix? Oh, look at the looting thing. It's a block. Still any sat chips find in the uh, stat matrix. Increase HP, strength, and other attributes. Alright. So stat matrix. And we get this almost Undertale-esque music. So, can, like, can I put that there? I can't just put that there and I'll go back to level 1, and I can put that there and go to level 2. Bam! Learn to scan. So if I take this out... Oh, can you not... I think once you put it in, you can't take it out. So I just... But... And scan has to stay on. <laughs> you can't get rid of scan. Okay, and then we've got a lot of those before we get somewhere... Oh, that looks like another CPU thing there. That the thing that has the 6 next to it, so that might be another CPU thing. Alright, well, okay. We have that now. Report back to work up. Feel something inside the block. Anything useful? Actually, yeah. Then do me a favor. Check up on Ty's form. We split up to investigate. He kind of gone too far, but you know, I'm probably over, any, over his head. Alright, let's go help. Let's move him back on Destiny Islands. Track down Titus. Okay. Any of these doors work? Doors are not a thing in this game. <laughs> or at least not on this part of the island. But like, there's so much over here. And then, like, there's so many. Oh, hey! Yeah! Oh. Wasn't one of the silver ones. Never mind. Alright, jump on the ladder. Yeah! What's it? Oh, I find secrets! Looks like a shitload of money in them. Have I still got. No, so I'm on level 1 for that. Yeah, so yeah, it does decrease every time I just saw it go down. Overclocking does go down over time. Oh, oh. 
Uh, you, you know what? The auto jump might come in handy. <laughs> Give me something special. A, a blank chip? Really? So is that just to get further along? Like, I can just. Uh, has no effect when installed. So that just gets me further along. Okay. So you can use blank chips to like, get further along and then replace them with good chip when you actually get shit later on. Okay. That's. Oh, 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 you see it? You see it? Yeah, I see it. Oh, doesn't matter what to jump up there. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, look, I can go through here. We have to go to the door. It's the door. Pardon me. This door is sometimes here and sometimes not here, right? Oh, get some, get some money. Man, there's a lot of drawings around here. Kids have, like, totally scratched up this... Okay, so much of all your drawings everywhere. The door does nothing at the moment. Okay. There seems to be precisely nothing in here at the time being. Okay. Blocks come back? Bastards. Oh. That's not the number one. The blocks have all come back. Actually, even the I oh the I yeah, the item ones have been replaced as well. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Pieces the fuck out of here. Bye. Oh, but I, that's not a real door I can go through. Oh. Mickey did. I'm picking up some kind of signal. The question some kind of invisible door near your position. Let me look around. I think I saw where that guy disappeared. Alright. Okay. We're about to find something. Uh, locating back doors. Fix glitches, you will first need to find a back door into the system sector. Use the sensor on that to track it down. As you get closer, the sensor will flash quickly and eventually turn red. But, Titus over there. Actually, there's normally a bridge here. Oh, the bridge is phasing in and out. That's why. Whoa, it just exploded. Wait, here goes nothing. Uh, no. Not as of yet. I want to see if I can walk over to Titus. No, okay. So the bridge is... Yeah, see how the bridge... That's what I thought I saw before. So I wasn't crazy. I was just a little unwell. I know. I make that joke too often. Right, I can fall everywhere. Alright. Go through the... Yes. Investigate the strange thing. So the bridge is just fucked off because of glitches and shit. Okay, it's not what I was expecting at all. System sectors. The data escape created from Jimmy's journal requires code to run. This code is housed in special areas called system sectors. Glitches in the data escape are caused by abnormal enemies inside the system sector. Defeat these bug baddies to debug the sector and turn the world to normal. I jump back up here. I want to destroy all the things. Oh, hey! I got... Uh, while inside a system sector, you will rack up SP that can re be redeemed for XP, money, or other rewards once you've completely debugged the sector. Okay, well, in that case, I'm gonna go get that. This is some of the most gamey music that I've heard in this game in a while. Like, because we're in, like, the code area, machine matrix thing. It's just, like, straight up, here's, like, some 8 bit video game music. This is very video game music. Wow. Oh, look at them, like, be all, de de like, decoded and shit. Quick blitz! Yeah. Rising strike. Bam. Fuck you. Medic. What does medic do? Oh, vastly increases healing levels. Link established. Use it to exit the floor. Some system sectors contain multiple floors. To beat all the bug baddies on one floor to reveal a link to the next. Okay, so it's like a... This is like a combat arena style thing to progress. Okay. Jump up and go through. Yes, we'll go through the floor. Oh, goodness, pardon me. Jump up. Oh, bug baddies! Bug baddies! Quick blitz! Rising strike your bug baddies, yeah. Roll away. Get some distance and go back to Rising Strike, yeah! Quick Blitz, yeah! I am getting hit to this wall a lot. Magic upgrades, yeah! Yeah! Fuck you! 
So it's like fighting game music when it goes dun dun dun. We'll jump down here. All along here, because more secrets to discover, yeah. Attack upgrade, oh shit. Welcome on to you. Rising str- oh fuck. Quick blitz, yeah. When I actually hit, it's shocking how well it works. There we go. Get you. Get out of here, shadows. Get out of here, you. Blade rush, fuck yeah. Takes a long time to get to the overclock, but... I guess, like, you could focus on using your commands if you want to, like, keep your upgrades that you have for, for it. Like, you go up to maximum power, and then, like, go, oh, now I'll use all of my commands so I can, like, keep my overclock and just, like, be powerful and shit. Bam. Rising strike. CP max. Quick blitz. Oh, so I'm leveling up commands as well. Magic upgrade. Can I just do both of them in one row in, in a row? Because that looks like a cool combo. Fuck you. Yeah, get out of here. And oh, we've got some we've got some secrets over here. Fuck you. Okay, well attacks upgraded, yeah. Ow. Beat the shit out of all of you. Hey! Clock ability! Uh, your Keyblade has been upgraded because of all the baddies you've bashed. Collect out the new clock ability you have on the tree. Uh, we got Magic Bracer. Uh, check out- okay, let's see what new abilities you've unlocked. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! I used the D-pad, or the circle pad, and it could skip that. Touch the tree, I can't touch screen to bring up the clock ability. I missed that important thing! I think it was about how I get to choose what I want to use. Yeah! Big bash. Terminal open. Uh, defeat the last of the bug baddies inside system to reveal terminal somewhere on the floor. This is your way out. Okay. So, do I just, I just go through and I complete, um, put your magic commands without interruption even if you take damage. I will take that for the time being. So, I can choose which one I just want. Like, I can go between one of those two. Okay. Oh, but if I go to Magic Bracer, that becomes my max. Because it doesn't path along to attack upgrade. Like, all the ones here path on to both of those. Oh, okay, so because it's a tree, if you want certain abilities, you have to decide carefully which one you want. Okay. Okay, I understand. I understand. I'm getting this. I'm getting this. I'm shocked that, like, the command deck works exactly the way it did in, um, what's it called? Birth by Sleep, but the other parts of the game seem to be introducing something new. As I've always said, it's just like one of the things I love about Kingdom Hearts as a series is how every game changes it up. Like, they're not just the same, like, there's like big fundamental changes to how some of the combat works. And this game seems to be like a combination of others. Alright, rewards. Oh, so I like, I can choose the rewards that I want. And I can just redeem my things for straight up money or XP as well. Or I can buy some of these, like, things here. Uh, activate, activates the attack boost ability, which boosts your strength. Uh, okay. I will redeem that one. Obviously, I'll just redeem all these. And then what I've got left, I will redeem for experience. And boom. So like, is that like a shop like per encounter? Like, if I didn't buy those then, could I go back and get them later on, or, or are they think, or is like the way they work is like this? Where did that guy in the hood go? He went over to Titus probably. Ah, oh. so maybe clearing back doors fixes some of the glitches in the world. Hello, Bridge. <laughs> Being the heartless in that weird place must have brought it back somehow. Fucking! Mm. The fact that the defense skips dialogue is frustrating. So the equip accessories you find, you enter install them in the game matrix. Okay. Go back to the debug report for a second. No, this is no tutorials. Cause I skipped some things. What am I looking for? Uh choosing abilities. Touching uh you can keep in mind finish commands are more powerful at higher levels on the tree, yeah. Oh, so like if, so if I get it at Magic Bracer, I can still have a, um, 
finish it at that level, it's just not as powerful. Okay. Um, anything on any of these, it's important to, for you to look at, I think so. Until your first shipment of CPU and then build out with quit stat matrix. Uh, you can unlock your abilities by defending against upgrade the Keyblade. Blah blah blah. Yep. Find a back door. Multiple floors, blocks, block types. I think it was this is stuff here. What was the gear matrix I was looking at, wasn't it? But the thing that I just got was about the gear matrix. Oh, I might have gotten an accessory. Yeah, I got the power armor. That's right, yeah. Activates the attack boost ability, which, um, in, which boosts your strength when you're down to 25%. Boom, alright. Pop that in there. I don't have anything here for these, but, hey. Uh, also, the exclamation point just says that they're at max level. So, can I put... But I can go to this and I can put potion here. Okay. Oh, like maybe if it's Rising Strike. I don't know. I don't know, there's these second things here and I don't know what those do yet, so. I've got a stat matrix for a second, because I did get a shitload of these things to put in. Uh, we got another level up chip. We'll pop that in there. Actually, we'll pop, we'll replace that for a strength. Replace that with magic. Pop, defense there. Oh, you want me to use the two blank chips to get up here. Blank chips. So that just fills me up, but I don't have anything to actually go beyond there at the moment. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Alright. We'll, conti we'll continue on our merry way. Just destroy these for a second. And destroy this one. There we go. Alright, across the bridge we go. Hi there. Titus. Sup? You look like a little kid. Aren't you supposed to be older? Whatever. Final Fantasy game you're in. Missing bridge, it just popped back into existence! Last I checked, it's not April Fools! Oh, imagine if I was actually recording this on April Fools. Aw, oh, that would have not been worth it to wait just for that one little bit to start this though. Too bad we don't know what's causing it all. Or do we? What? A clue? Having a laugh? Are you having a laugh, mate? Are you having a giggle? Are you having a giggle? Alright, you wanna know about the clue I found? You just have to earn it. Oh! Fighting you? Why am I fighting you? Titus, stop in it. Stop in a tight dick. Oh! Defeat Titus! The music just hasn't changed at all. Alright. Bam! Fuck you! Rising strike! Stop being invincible! Stop having invincibility frames! Rising strike! Ow! Quick blitz! Bit of shit, you Titus! Yeah! Combos! Yeah! Obtain a potion. To use commands to find a combat, you first need to install them in the command matrix in the command menu. Item commands like potions are master the numeral and do not reload after combat. In the heat of battle, you can only use the quantity shown. However, you can use them in rapid succession. <laughs> ah. The clue. Stranger walking around the islands. Yeah. Time is just a little suspicious. First there's block shop and some weirdo in a black coat. Well, I... Over by the waterfall. Looks for one second and he was gone. Alright, to the waterfall. Oh yeah, because it's the door. I did walk in there and it was just like, oh, there's nothing here in the moment. Awkward. But before I go there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Obtained fire. <gasps> got some magic. We got some magic. Oh yeah. Alright, well let's let's do that right the fuck now then. Uh, command matrix. Look! Uh, test converting commands. If you install commands into adjacent blue slots, they will temporarily transform into a new command, which will appear in the red slot. This red command is the one you will take into battle. Wait, what? Oh! Okay. Uh, command points. Defeat enemies in you. <coughs> uh, pardon me. Uh, defeat enemies in your, um, installed commands will gain CP. Once a command gains enough CP, it will be marked with an exclamation point. Install two commands with the exclamation point to adjacent blue slots, and you can convert them into a powerful new command. Oh, so is this how this game does recipes? Like, as a, in, instead of Birth by Sleep's, like, command melding, you just pop things together to make that? Okay, that's actually an interesting take on it. 
because it means that you don't have to like grind out commands over and over again to get new things. Okay, so it's not just exactly the same as Birth by Sleep for the command deck. It is actually different. And it can... Okay, so this is like... Like, because, again, every Kingdom Hearts game changes it up and, like, how things go is, like, a little bit different. And this game seems to be, like, combining different elements from different games. I like this. I mean, for the time being, like, who knows how, how it will go later on. In terms of the gameplay, I'm expecting the same level as Days, because it can't be too overly complex or demanding because limitations of the system. But at least it changes it up and keeps things different. Again, every Kingdom Hearts game so far has done that. It's, like, changed up, like how the game works, but it's always felt like Kingdom Hearts. It's like, one of the best parts of the whole series, the fact that it can always change and feel the same. Like, feel like it's it belongs. Not the same game, but like the same series. There's a road for the taking if you if you end our world's aching. Are we playing Oddworld now? <laughs> not Mickey. Are you going to be the one that will open uh, the door? It's a bright light. I can't see a thing! Still seeing stars are here. The journal! There's a road for the taking if you end our world aching. What on earth is going on with this journal? The world is aching. Not just the world, our world. What's the monitor doing? It's him! Sora? Or the red or, or hood? This world has been connected. What's up? Hey, I've been looking for you. Tied to the... There is a road you must take, but first you must end our world's aches. What aches? Are you talking about the blocks? I'm assuming it's not rocks, it's because it's taller. To make this place hold the key blades... The key holds the place. I thought it was a key blade. To make this place hold the key... Holds the place. Not done. Jump back in. <laughs> Just does bolt. Wait. Ooh, keyhole. I've got something weird here. Guy in black left behind up. Looks like a keyhole. Matter of fact, what did he say again? To make this place hold, the key holds the place. Find a way through. Why don't you try the keyblade? It is a keyhole. <laughs> Magic sparklies. Still shocked this game has visual novel style cutscenes. <laughs> That is very surprising. This game originally was a mobile game, right? Like, Coded was a straight-up mobile game, right? I do seem to recall that being a thing. Oh, shit! Hey! It's Destiny Island, when it's been torn apart. We're quite sexy. Buster Wolf! For now, anyway. I'm not sure, but I'll tell you one thing. Whatever's causing the glitches must be in there with you. And if, you, and if I find the cause, I cut the arm back to normal? Too soon to say. Better take a look around. Here goes nothing. Whatever's in there, it's powerful. We've got some powerful shit coming up. Oh, shit. It's a dark side. It looks like it's going to be a dark side. It's a dark side. It's always a dark side. What's up? What's up? There you go. Boss stage scoring. Defeat enemies or bash blocks to release prizes that increase your score. You will be awarded um, items based on your performance. I'm ranked. Defeat the boss in record time. Defeat the dark side. Okay, so I get fucking ranks on this shit. Okay, ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh. Okay, so hang on. So box blocks to bash. Fire Edge! Yeah! Yeah! Oh! Rising Strike! Yeah! And then we'll kill you guys! Yeah! Magic Racer! So I can change that on the fly as well. Oh, hey, blocks! Bam! Fuck you! Fuck you! Oh, roll away! What's up? Hey, what you got? Fire Edge, I've got these things though, so yeah, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Rising Strike, yeah. Fuck these things. Fuck you too, yeah. Oh, whoops, I wasted that. 
I I'm, I'm not paying attention to when I'm about to like max out something, so I'm like I'm I'm completely whipping. <laughs> Those things. Medic! Yeah, you died. Yeah. Oh no, it's breaking the blocks. Wow, I'm dead. Or are you just gearing up for round two? I feel like you're just gearing. Yeah, you're just gearing up for round two. Oh, now you. Okay. You're like being made out of blocks now? Okay. Rising edge, yeah. Oh, hey, so. Hey, you Fire edge, rising strike, yeah. I think it's really not useful on enemies like this. Explosion! Oh, Jesus! Stop firing broken data at me. Yeah. Rising strike. I beat the shit out of you still. Yeah. Hey, look, we have a proper name for this uh, for this island now as well. Storm Toss Island. Roll out of the way, yeah. Storm Tossed Island. Destroy that, yeah, ah. Oh. Ah, oh, damn. Come here! Let me get you. Yeah! Ah, oh, damn it, okay. So, yeah, destroying that, like, gives me not a lot of time to actually attack it. Oh, get out of here. Come at me, dark side. Fight me. Yeah. Yeah, hey, boom, I got you. And fire edge. Rising strike, yeah. And then follow it up with combos. Yeah. Oh, so close to that. So wish it was an easy way to work the camera. But, again, only one day back. Ow. Don't do that thing. I don't like it when you do that type of thing. Bam! Yeah, it should die. Fire Edge! Bam! You ate all the shit and you did all the dead. Yeah. I am that awesome killing all the things. Oh no, it's blocked. Is it still not dead? Oh wow. And look at the frame rate of these things just completely drop. This is not a dark side. Oh, up, get it! It's like attacking the raw data of Dark Side now. Ah, oh, damn. Okay. Get at it. What are you doing? Fire Edge! Up. Oh. Alright, stop. Get away from me. Get away from me. Rising strike. Up. Oh, Stop standing on top. Beat the shit out of the actual block. Yeah. Okay, I'm not doing too well here. Potion. Can I? I feel like I can destroy those blocks. Oh, it heals them when it sends them out. So I just noticed some of them came back. Hey! Is it actually dead now? Uh, that, that looks like it's dead. That was a three-phase boss fight for the start of it. Wow. New record. Rank one star. I'm assuming three stars is the max. I feel like I did poorly. Fire. Fire edge. Yeah. Explosions happening. Dark side, what are you doing? The single... No! They don't come back. Oh, hey, look, actual cutscenes. No, I'm gonna run away because I'm a total bitch coward, bitch. Destiny Islands, no! No, hold on! Oh, you could have been stronger than that. Huh? Some bad shit went down. Do you think Sora's alright? Ah, yeah, we're fine. I'm tracking him now. <laughs> oh, goodness, Spider Man. Traverse down? What is it? 
A new entry in the journal. It's more important than tracking down this life form that we've created slash forced to do this. More hurts than the one we have just undone. A lot of worlds are hurting. Someone's in the shadow room. So it's more than just Sora's world that's hurting. We have to go and fix all the different worlds that are hurting. Oh, hey, Riku. What are you doing here? And it's the person in the brown cloak that we saw for once and then never came back. Still not even sure who or what this is. So it's weird that it's brown. Riku, stop accepting the darkness. Gee, now that can't be right. If the data was repaired, we should be seeing the things that were written inside my journal, right? But what we just saw, that never happened. Well, it might have happened, or at least I never wrote it down. Hmm. You mean I'm showing us stuff you don't know about? Hmm, I wonder what's going on inside the journal. Hmm? Aha! Is this game going to turn out to be a Kingdom Hearts <laughs> re con of, um, Kingdom Hearts 1? <laughs> Traverse Town, yeah. This game is just Kingdom Hearts 1 over again, it seems. <laughs> Which is what Chain of Memories was. <laughs> in a way. They're both in a way, I guess. From a certain point of view. Hey! Bye, Pluto. Just, just running away. Huh? You don't just lick a guy awake and then run away and bolt. Come on. Traverse Atheon. How did I... You are alright? Yeah. Someplace else. Yeah, tell me about where you are now. Can you not see? A town or the island? Did I fix it? All the blocks are gone. You did a great job, Sora. The island doesn't exist anymore, but the blocks are gone too. I'm in a strange town. Why? Could be. Mind taking a look around? Could be full of glitches. Who fucking knows? Hey, Sid. I haven't seen you around before. I'm not even gonna try and do like a country accent. That I'm assuming country accent based on the straw, so you know he's gonna do whatever the fuck it is. Said I have a shop. I don't suppose you ran into the triplets on your way here. Which triplets? Oh, the, the do you, do you mean um the kids, the duck kids, Curly, Larry, and Mo? Do you mean them? That was the best thing. We have blocks have been popping up every which way. Clearing them out, they just come right on back. We had blocks. Sounds familiar. Hey, you just go for a little walk. Can't miss them. Keep an eye out for the triplets. Uh, oh. Oh. Slightly different. Okay. Slightly different set of triplets than what I was thinking of. When do we get to a save point? I somewhat want this episode to end before it becomes way too long for me to upload because I keep doing that to myself. But we haven't had a save point since like 10 minutes into the fucking video. Where's the save point? Where is the save point? Where the fuck's the save point? Yeah! No, I'm looking at my fuck everything else. Where can I save? Where's. What's the save point on the map? I can't even do it. Oh, hey, look, there's blocks. Okay, save point. Give me, give me save point. Motherfuckers, where's the save point? I will I will worry about this shit later. Where's a save point? Seriously? This is a long time between the ability to save. Or is that it? There, there it is! Good! Okay. Avatar, uh, turn to a title screen to access special menu for connecting with other players via tag mode. All is multiplayer. You'll receive floor challenge and scratch card from each person you meet. Okay. Well, that's a thing. Point is, I'm gonna save it. Save it. Yeah, 17 minutes in, and now we're like an hour in. 
It's a long time between savings. Jesus. Point is, next episode, we will continue our journey into, yet again, another Kingdom Hearts. Oh, wow, sorry. You are very close there. Oops, hit the volume control. So, that was weird. Point, yeah, next episode, we will continue our Kingdom Hearts journey. Woo! So, until then, this is version 2. Sorry.